Well, guess what? No Shenhei, Kokomi, or Rayatha's Lee in version 5.3 either. Just as I posted a video about why we're not getting the full banner leak, we received new information about it. And honestly, no one was expecting this to happen. Version 5.3 is not looking good for F2P players, especially those who are low on primogems. If you're looking to save up to 19% on Genshin top-ups, check out ldshop.gg. Just enter your UID and server, link in the description. This info comes from Full Stop Chan, one of the most reliable sources in the game. According to them, we will see Mavuika and Sitlali in the first phase, and in the second phase, we'll see Arlequino and Clorindi banners. As you can see, we've never seen this kind of lineup before, and it's absolutely ridiculous. Mihoyo has never put two new five-star characters in the same phase before. This is the first time they're doing it. Now, this could mean a few things. For example, Sitlali might end up in the standard banner or other possibilities, but I'll go over that in a bit. For now, let's switch our attention to Clorindi and Arlequino. It does make perfect sense for Mahoyo to rerun Arlequino in this version because they want us to drain our savings, so we spend money on the game. But what makes zero sense to me is Clorinda having a rerun now. Clorinda was first released in version 4.7, which is only about three patches ago, and now she's getting her first rerun. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve a rerun. What I'm trying to say is that there are a lot of characters who haven't received a rerun since Fontaine. Some haven't even received a single rerun since the Sumeru patches nearly two years ago. It feels like Mohoyo has completely forgotten about them. I don't understand what they're trying to do, but whatever it is, all we can do is wait. Now, about the first phase banners. As I mentioned before, this is the first time Mahoyo has put two new five-star characters in the same phase. We've never seen it happen before. Mavuika is a great character. Her kit includes a motorcycle and other cool abilities, like flying, climbing, and even riding her motorcycle on water. She will be a very strong DPS and a useful character, just like all the other Archons. Sitlali, on the other hand, is also a great support unit. Her kit includes shielding and off-field support. She's an excellent character who can fit into a lot of team compositions. If these two characters are really good, why is Mahoyo releasing them in the same phase? Well, as I said before, there could be multiple reasons. For instance, if you remember about a month ago, we got information from a leaker suggesting that Sitlali might join the standard banner. Thinking about it now, that seems highly unlikely because Sitlali is such a good character. The chance of Mahoyo putting her in the standard banner is incredibly low. I'd say the main reason they're putting both of them in the first phase is to make players spend money on the game. They're both amazing characters, and Mihoyo knows it. Honestly, this version is not looking good for F2P players, especially if you're low on primogems and want these characters. The first phase looks incredible, and the second phase isn't far behind. Arlequino and Clorindi are both popular Fontaine characters, and I know a lot of people want to wish for them. If you missed their first banners in Fontaine, now's your chance to get them. Just make sure you start saving up now and you'll be set. I'll be wishing for Mavuika and trying my luck on Arlequino's banner. What about you? Who are you planning to wish for? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Until next time.